Welcome. How is everyone? Thank you very much, President Heckler. Um, it really, it's interesting. I have to go last after the dean and Mr. Spoon and President Heckler, and I have to think of refreshing things to say. So I'll do my best. Um, welcome, and thank you all for being here. As President Heckler said, my name is Brian Rogers, and I'm a 3L student. Understanding that I'm also the person keeping you from being able to get up, move around, have another cocktail, uh, I'll do my best to keep it short. But it's really going to be difficult when this involves talking about Professor Charles Gromley. To begin, as it's been said, I am a recipient of the Charles Gromley Scholarship. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's given to a second and third year student at the end of every year, is voted upon by the faculty and staff. I received this last year at the end of the year, right before finals, and um, you can only imagine, as many of you know what it's like right before finals, how amazing it was to receive this about an individual who's so wonderful. Importantly, the description of that scholarship is really indicative of the individuals that are here. Caring, compassionate, excuse me, caring, compassionate, and highly competent. Those things are what Charles Gromley was. It is you all who represent the absolute best qualities of Professor Gromley and his commitment to the law student and the law school. I know this not based on the stories, or not based on my personal experiences with him, obviously, but the stories that still echo the hallways each and every day. Professor Berner was telling me a couple stories about Professor Gromley. He's one of the individuals, obviously, I'm sure many of you remember. And he was telling me a couple of these sayings that he used to have. And one of them in particular was, you know, you can, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. But you can make him, you wish you would have, could have drunk. You all, in many ways, do that each and every day with not just your financial commitments to the law school, but through your time commitments as well. Thumbing through a tribute edition of the Amicus Alumni Magazine from some years ago, I stumbled upon a beautiful story about Professor Gromley. In this account, an individual asked Professor Gromley, what, what do you do? And without hesitation, his answer was, I'm a teacher. It wasn't, I'm an attorney, or a lawyer, or a professor, or even a law professor. It was, I am a teacher. Your support helps fund opportunities for faculty and staff to be teachers in their, way, their own ways. More importantly, your support helps advance students, student activities on multiple levels so that we can be students in the way Professor Gromley wanted us to be. The relationship is absolutely symbiotic. Through your contributions, we have a clinical program that rivals, if not outperforms, every other program in the nation. And as said, I travel around and talk to a lot of law students. That's the absolute truth. A new student lounge that provides a comfortable and spacious working environment in the evening and a functional and relaxing atmosphere during the day just to hang out, have lunch in a nice environment. The Career Center expansion was monumental in helping students with career exploration during this increasingly difficult job market. Furthermore, it provides a positive work environment for our Career Center staff who work so hard to better assist us in our postgraduate endeavors. And it provides a visually, and more importantly, it provides a visually appealing space to recruiters and other individuals who come to visit our law school. On a more personal level, as Dean Connison mentioned, the donations you provide allow for students to travel and attend conferences and functions around the nation. This enables us both to learn about new developments in the law and be exposed to a whole class of individuals we might not otherwise been able to. Aside from your financial support, which we obviously appreciate and encourage, um, it's your time and energy is what really, really matters. And I say this wholeheartedly. The guest lectures, the student mentoring, and the advocacy that you all do every day on behalf of the law school is absolutely unquantifiable. However, still, I encourage you to find more ways to participate in the law school. Aside from being beneficial for the students, I can promise you, you will find it equally satisfying when you are able to reach someone and tell them, I can help you reach your goals. I can promise you'll, excuse me, this was the only thing, 
Oh, man. You know, about six weeks in is when you start getting sick, and I'm sure you all remember it. <laughs> and it's just going around the whole law school, so excuse me. <laughs> this was Professor Gromley's principal purpose. Each time you extend a hand, you create a future alumnus who will not forget that moment and pay it forward once again to the next generation of students who pass through those doors and hear the never-ending stories about Professor Gromley and his almost prophet-like stature. Overall, it would not be difficult for me to continue down a list of what your contributions mean to the law school and particularly students such as myself. However, to close, I will share what your contributions to me personally, aside from the scholarship that I received in his name. Coming from the south side of Chicago and attending an all-boys Catholic high school, I have a deep understanding of loyalty and commitment. However, I went to school out west, and it's a little different there. People weren't quite so proud of the place that they came from or the school they were attending. It was just where they were going to school. Thankfully, I can say I do not feel that lack of pride now. I do not expect to, to feel that once I conclude my three years here at Valparaiso, and I most certainly do not feel that in this room. I hope that you will continue to support individuals such as myself and allow us to feel that sense of pride that continually draws you all back each year. I thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening.